Good day, YouTube. Robert J. Morris here, uh, doing a quick video here, brought to you from our friends over at DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. This story was covered by Tyler at Secure Team 10. I will, I'll, I'll give you some links uh, over to his uh, channel there so you can check it out for yourself. I'm, however, going to get into a slightly different aspect of this. As uh, you know, I have already done some coverage on things like the ARPANET and some other items that have been created by DARPA. <clears throat> so here we have um, Hallmark Envision's real-time space command and control. They seem to have it in their heads now that they want to build a command and control structure up in space, whether it's in orbit or the L1 or L2 Lagrange points or yet to be uh, seen. There is actually quite a few bits of information in the abstract. I haven't gone on to read all of it. I just wanted to get this out to you. Of course, they want to dress it up all nice and start talking about, you know, um, I've, I've seen other reports on this and they've likened it to things such as like Star Trek and, and blah, 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 because I guess it all sounds really cool and cozy. But let's go in here and just read a couple bits here from, from early on on their page. It says, current space domain awareness tools and technologies were developed when there were many fewer objects in space. Only a few nations could even place satellites in orbit, and those orbits were easily predictable without advanced software tools. That situation has changed dramatically in the past decade with the developing space industry flooding once lonely orbits with volleys of satellite constellations despite this much more complex and chaotic environment. Commanders with responsibility for space domain awareness often rely on outdated tools and processes and thus incomplete information as they plan, assess and execute U.S. military operations in space. To help address these technical and strategic challenges, DARPA is launching the first of two planned efforts under the agency's new Hallmark program, which has the overarching goal to provide breakthrough capabilities in U.S. space command and control. This first effort, the Hallmark software testbed, has as its primary goal the creation of an advanced enterprise software architecture for a testbed for tools that will integrate a full spectrum of real-time space domain systems and capabilities. The testbed would be used to expedite the creation and assessment of comprehensive set of new and improved tools and technologies that could be spun off into near-term operational use for the Defense Department's Joint Space Operations Center and Joint Interagency Combined Space Operations Center. This, my friends, is very, very important news. While other Reports may liken this to things like Star Trek and make this sound all space age and futury. Um, guess what? I sense something else happening here. Because what they want to do, in my opinion, this is completely my opinion, so please, uh, I, I will get into why in a couple of moments, but this is my opinion. I think they would like to have an installation in space because it is very, very hard to hit, period. Okay, forget about aliens, forget about E.T., yes, 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 that might be in there as well. But for all intents and purposes, being on the planet is uh, an, ac it's, it's an accessibility flaw. So basically, if you're on the planet, anybody can pretty much come and attack you, yeah? And then you lose your command and control structure. Now, they were talking about this Hallmark test bed, and this is very important as well. Here, I looked it up here, we have uh, the Hallmark-ST. This has been sanctioned by DARPA for, you know, for review and for applications. So, you know, other companies can come in and, and bid on these things and get funding as a DARPA subsidiary, basically. So let's go up to uh, the actual PDF here for the Tactical Technology Office. Uh, this is the Hallmark software test bed. And down below, there's all kinds of information, by the way, and blah, blah, blah. It's, you know, it's evil how these guys do this. But I want to turn your attention to this introduction here. The Department of Defense has developed superior capabilities over decades in the physical domains of land, sea, air, and space. Space is increasingly important as a domain of strategic interest. Notice how it says strategic interest. 
Anyway, however, nations and geopolitical entities are developing the ability to exploit potential vulnerabilities and threaten U.S. freedom of action in space. When called upon, the U.S. military must have superior capabilities, of course, to rapidly plan, assess, and execute space operations in support of the full spectrum of military actions. Because the space domain enables and supports military operations in the land, sea, and air domains, space operations must also be integrated with existing and future military and intelligence operations in those domains. DARPA is seeking to develop a testbed for measuring, understanding, and integrating the complete spectrum of systems and capabilities to ensure stability, security, and operational dominance in space. While existing technology can provide elements of situa situational awareness, indications and warnings, command, control, and communications, there is currently no satisfactory capability to evaluate new technologies for their impact on space command and control capabilities. Using a testbed approach, including playback and simulation capabilities, research and development activities, experiments, explorations, and exercises can occur without detrimental impact to operational space domain systems. The goal is a comprehensive and effective set of space command and control. Uh, technologies that can be spiraled into the Joint Space Operations Center and the Joint Interagency Combined Space Operations Center. The entire effort to develop a testbed, built and integrate a set of advanced space enterprise command and control tools and capabilities, and engage in a series of scenario-based testing and evaluation cycles is called Hallmark. The solicitation, Hallmark-ST, is seeking to design and develop an integrating enterprise software architecture as well as provide a space enterprise analysis capability. Figure 1 illustrates the overall Hallmark effort. And here's a diagram uh, and all that and what have you. You guys can go and check these out yourself. I will leave the links for this. Now, what I am going into now is something that was covered last year uh, during Jade Helm. I'm also going to be working with uh, some other YouTube channels uh, on this regarding the computer AI systems that were uh, brought online recently. Quantum computers supplied to Google and uh, the university coupled with NASA there. They have a shared uh, quantum computing system that was provided by D-Wave. And then the <clears throat> flip side of that coin is that DARPA and Raytheon have already been working on quantum computing systems. The American Air Force actually uh, went and took the X-22, which was basically a tiny little kind of a shuttle kind of looking item, and flew that up into space. It's been on top secret missions ever since, and it can spend a lot of time up in orbit. Now... I'm just curious because there's a lot of these things that are kind of loosely connecting right now. So just look at the dots, connect them. I'm going to be doing a lot more on this. I just wanted to bring it to your attention. I do not think for a second that this is wholly going to be used as a space platform for command and control. But uh, this software testbed system that they want to roll out completely connects all of the technologies that have been kind of buzzing around in uh, the alternative media for the last couple of years. And I have been covering some of this, you know, in the last year, and I will be covering a lot more of this in the weeks to follow. It's very important stuff because they've already replaced command and control, which used to be just top brass making phone calls. Now it's being controlled by an AI system. And if this ties in, basically you're going to have a hardened outpost in orbit or somewhere out in space, which will make it impossible to, uh, to have any kind of effect on while intelligence gathering is taking place and other things uh, down here. So um, with that said, I want to leave you guys with that. I'm going to keep this quick and uh, expect more on this subject. And uh, have a great day. Peace out. Desperate as that sounds, yeah, yeah. Take these walls and rip them, rip them down.